Hello everybody, it is Judah and Katie. What's up? At Yellowstone, day five, technically six. We decided that we were gonna take a day because several people told us as individuals that we needed to go to the Grand Tetons. Whoa. So that's what we did. It was a two hour drive from our campsite. We got there, we went to the visitor center. I said to the lady, we only got a few hours here. Tell me what to do. So she hands me this newspaper here. She shows me this uh, little list. She says this list, those are the best places to go. And just like pulling out for an overlook or whatever. It was, it was a lie. It was, yeah, they weren't super exciting. It was like a list made for people who don't want to get out of their cars or do any kind of walking whatsoever. And we did do a small walk near the actual visitor center. Mm -hmm. And we got some cool pictures looking mm -hmm. at the lake out there. It was there. like misty or a little foggy. He pointed out this lake called Jenny's Lake and it was so packed. We were parked so far away from any kind of lake whatsoever. And it was just bustling there big time. So according to this trail map that I'm looking at, we get to this fork and I'm like, we gotta go this way. So we go and then we meet an older couple who are like, you know where you're going? No. And I'm like, not really. And then another woman pops out and she's like, does anybody here know where they're going? And I'm like, not really. But I'm following this trail. And we're all following Judah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I go I'm, and I take them into the deepest brush ever, like the mm -hmm. highest grass. And I'm just trudging through it. Which turns out thinking, to be uh, wet. Yeah. And I almost stepped right in. I was like, oh, there's the trail because suddenly there's like a space in the grass. And I'm like, this is where everybody's walking. I literally am stepping into it. And then I look over the grass and I see that it's a creek. And I literally almost just stepped right in it. I turn around, I'm like, nope, Katie, that's not it. And I see the people coming around the corner. I'm like, there's no trail here whatsoever. So they turn around and I finally felt a little relief. Like I wasn't leading everybody into death at that point. Then Katie and I just start walking up this mountain and go it's back. It's like a hill. Yeah, you walk a hill. Up a hill. A hill. Climbing up a hill. Just uh, to get back to where definitely we... Definitely also not a trail. So no. then we climb back down the hill. We just make it back to where we originally were, where I said, I think this is the right path. Well, what is this trail we're talking about? Is this Moose Pond? Yes. Okay. We well, were trying... you haven't mentioned what it's called. No, we were I'm trying saying. to take Moose Pond Trail, yeah. which is where it, it looks like it made sense. But so I was feeling really foolish. I let all these people... <laughs> in this wild goose chase so we make it back to the main moose trip. chase wild moose chase right, wild moose chase and we're we're walking and lots of people and coming towards us i hear some guy talking to this lady in front of me and he's like hey next left the trail there's three moose and i'm like oh yeah so i zoomed uh, past her that's why you're booking it so yeah. hard i was like where are you going yeah so i just <laughs> far away pass her up and her daughter and I'm like, eat dust. I pushed the little girl down too because I needed all the distance I could get between us. And I see the trail off the left and I look and it says Moose Pond. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is where we wanted to go. So we go down there, Katie is a little bit behind me and I go down to the pond and yes, there are three moose in the pond just having a good old time. There's a baby in there making some cute noises but there's a ton of a crowd everybody's taking photos and I'm taking photos and then suddenly I hear one person say here comes another one and this big bull moose starts coming down the trail and everybody's just like scattering Yay. they're all just as fast as they can jumping up on big boulders everybody's trying to get out of the way but we stood there for a while and we uh, watched yeah these. and that's when I appeared yeah. after the big moose had gotten to the exactly. water is my first moose my first Mises. It was very exciting. It was. They were, they're so. They're pretty. Awesome. And they're big. Yeah. And they're uh, hairy. <laughs> but after us standing there for like what, fifteen minutes, just like taking yeah, it in. Yeah. I'm just staring at moose. We we're like, <laughs> okay, let's let's get back on the trail. But nobody else. Everybody else was just. They were gonna. But it was really cool. Gonna take in as much as they could of these these moose. So we get on the trail. Again, it's a nice trail. And then I say to Katie, I don't know. I'm getting the feeling, I'm like just the way this 
feels this is going to take us right back to that place where we were lost. And she's like, why? And I'm like, I don't know. I just have this feeling. And then she says to me, wait a minute. Isn't that the hill we climbed up? And I looked and yeah. I was like, yeah, it is. So we followed the trail and it literally took us right back to the point where I said, oh, this trail, all it does is lead us to the road. So it did look like it went to the road from there. Yeah, it did. But and it didn't actually. No. But I, so I felt really silly, but at the same time I was like, okay, well at least I did know where the trail was, but. And the moose timing was perfect. Oh yeah. It, she was right. She said, well, had we not we gotten lost, we, moose, yeah, we maybe. wouldn't have gotten there in time for the, the moose or we would have been there too early and they wouldn't. So she was right. So we were which done. Which I always am. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kidding. Oh, which another nice little note. We, we started this trail two times. That's true. We got we had a false start but not a false alarm in which i was like oh shit i need to use the bathroom right now <laughs> so, now <laughs> now um you know not my my brightest most beaming moment but we made it to a bathroom yes uh and i survived the rest of i just you know the night before i had a big migraine and then the, yeah. you know that day i was not feeling super great so and actually, I don't know, but I'm alive. Today's my day. We're, we've, we're actually here mm. purposefully because I got a little rumbly in my tumbly. There's a bathroom nearby. And here. right over here is a bathroom. So I, I already used it once and I said, Katie, I, I think this is not the last of this. But you know what smells worse than diarrhea from hikers? What? Mud volcanoes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, did we do that on the not, way back? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we start heading back. But <laughs> Katie, we we felt like even though the trail was short, we both felt like we had walked a long, long way. And Katie started getting a little cranky, so I offered to drive. And oh she, yeah, girl took a nap. She was like, I was yes. not feeling good. So that's she was true. sleeping, and I knew at that moment I was like, I'm driving. Katie's sleeping. This is my only chance to go see the Yellowstone Natural Bridge. <laughs> I'm not going to get a backhand to the face this time. I'm going to stop. She has no control. So I stop. She wakes up. She's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> I did not talk like that. <laughs> I was like, shh, shh, Katie, it's okay. Go, like the, go back to sleep, I woke Katie. up backhanding you. <laughs> yeah, I dodged it. It was like, Whoa. I was like, it's okay, no. Katie. Shh, go to sleep. I walked up. I all by myself again it was very short maybe like two and a half mile there and back and i saw the natural bridge talked to some old people up there we got back on the road and we stopped at the mud volcano yeah which as you said was stinky the, so bad the stinkiest thermal oh, activity we've experienced it was uh, not hideous not like we you know we're hot and dynamic this place was it's, hot and dynamic and and stinky and stinky What's a cooler word for stinky? I was gonna say rancid. Fragrant. Oh. Frank. Frank. Frankenfurter. Frank. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was a. Um, it was a fun. It we had a. It was pretty strong. It was. Well. All very the other strong. places have been not so stinky. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. But, yeah. but the, it was cool, and it there was, was cool. this thing called the, was it the Dragon's Den, or am I just making that up? What was it? Something like that. But it was, tail, it was this Dragon's cool Dead, like cave and it had this water rushing out of it and just the steam pouring out and this, yeah. it really, I could totally see somebody thinking that there was a dragon in there. Lots of these thermal mud pools. Very cool. Nasty smell with some fun stories like talking about when it, the explosion happened, it blew trees like 200 feet from the yeah. spot. It was, it was pretty cool. It was very cool. Then we jumped back in very and just stinky. a skip away was the sulfur cauldron that we stopped and that looked was at. Also stinky. It was, and that wasn't necessarily worth checking out. I don't, I don't remember it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't really worth checking out. It was nothing special. Headed back home. Uh, well, home campsite. Mm -hmm. I hoped the boys were going to have a fire. They did not, so. I almost ate cold spaghetti, but I Ooh. shed a little bit tear, and AJ started a fire for me, so I heated oh. up my spaghetti, and I had it. What did you have that day for dinner? I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, yesterday was kind of a... Uh, I don't know. Uh, apple and cheese and something like that. I wouldn't call... 
I it mean, was it, like a random day. It was it, like the Grand Tetons. It honestly, if we didn't see the moose. I would have walked away from it, kind of like, being like, eh, didn't eh. need to go to the Grand Teton. And I definitely would have yeah. gone back to work and talked to my coworker who told me I, I had to go to the Grand Teton and been like, mm. bro, that's but what. But again, no. like we were saying, we didn't. We only did that one trail, really, yes. like two trails, but they weren't serious trails. So maybe had we gone on a more had significant we, trail, we might have yeah spent really seen more some time. Awesome views exactly. Eventually. But I did buy a T-shirt there just so that I can, you know, say I went to Grand Tetons. But we have one more day, so come back and we'll talk to you about that. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.